Hello guys, this is RubberRabbit2 with an update on my Spyro Style Skybox Creator. And I have a voice now, apparently. Well, it's been a while since my last update. I've been busy and distracted with other things. But now I spent the last week doing little other than working on this project, and I'm finally ready to release the first build. There is no option to export skies to the Spyro format yet, but I've added a lot of features to make the tool useful in other ways. Better geometry editing tools, various export options including cube map textures. Now, let me demonstrate how it works, starting with the skybox of my old favorite level, Frozen Altars. There's a sketch tool and an edge collapse tool to get rid of unwanted vertices. And you can draw lines and curves of vertices with the Create tool to make it blend nicely-ish with the geometry by holding Shift to even out the triangle mapping around the brush. If you want to preserve the color where you draw, just make the paint color transparent. You may wonder why I'm making a snowman. Well, it's summer here and I miss the winter and there's a snowman on my desktop background, which I guess I subconsciously drew inspiration from. Painting is easy, just use the pipette tool to get the color you desire and put it where you want, with the brush opacity you want. While well, a small brush radius is useful for creating nice curves, you do get more vertices than you really need, so go grab that edge collapser. You always get a lot of triangle edges flipped out of order, and to fix them you use the creatively named Edge Flipping Tool. The Grab Tool can be used to push and pull vertices around, move them where you want them while the Beautify tool rearranges triangles to reduce the number of sharp angles. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and my snowman is complete! So, let's export it. Let's call it... Frozen Altar Snowman. Export a Q map, right? Let's have a look at that Q map, guys. Oh, there it is, yes. Let's see. Oh, it's gorgeous. And the snowman looks realistically melted. It's too exposed to the sun. And. Oh, yes, that's a nice evening. Now we just have to update the background color. Just use the pipette on the lower edge and press the background color button. This, by the way, is how you generate a palette based on the sky. The snowman does look a bit lonely though. In the editor there are six layers now. So we can select everything with Ctrl A, then move everything up to a second layer. Then we select only snowman using one of the selection slash transformation tools. And then we copy him and deselect everything and go down to the first layer where we paste him and we have another snowman. And then we paste a third snowman and mirror him but his triangles are back face, so we have to fix them. Well that's it guys, thanks for watching. Please try out the program, there should be a link in the video description. Stay tuned for more updates. Um, a Spyro export shouldn't be that far off, but I've been sitting stuck doing only this for a week, so I need a break first. Again, thanks for watching and see you later.